She cussed and cried and said a lie and wished that I was dead. Oh, let the pistol down, baby, play the pistol down. Mr. Pack and Mama, play the pistol down.
said goodbye to the old chain gang. Yeah, Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Howdy. How's everybody doing? Uh, I never felt better all over more than anywhere else. Good to be back here working with my buddy, Mr. John Rice Urban. One of the greatest, one of the old time music festival arts and crafts that you'll ever want to see. It's just like Alan Jackson says, it's right on the money. I want to introduce you right quick. We don't have a lot of time, so we ain't going to do a lot of talking. We're going to kind of tell you who everybody is. Hello, everybody. Fellow just finished up. Fellow just finished up the banjo playing. He ain't the best, but he'll do to the best comes along. Benny Rose, Benny Rose on the banjo. On the bass fiddle, he thinks he's Kenny Rogers, but he's not. My buddy, Danny Kreppel. Over in the antique section, our bus driver and a guitar picker, my buddy, John McNeely. From the great state of Virginia, old Joe Clark on the Little Mountain. From Nashville, Tennessee, one of the greatest, finest old time fiddlers in the country. My buddy, Mr. Mike Fagan. 53 years in bluegrass music, folks. Give him a big hand. Melvin Goins. Thank you so much. And a fellow standing back here beside of me that I traveled the road 44 years with. He's been under the weather for nine years, but the good Lord's pulled him through cancer three times and a heart attack. And he's here today. Thank God above you, great healer, the great doctor, my brother Ray Goins. Would you give him a nice hand? Here's a gospel song we like to do, and it's got a great bless to it. When entitled, Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Oh, listen to me, sinner, if you want to go. Or someday's coming back again, you know. If they won't act right, you'll be lost and seen. Get in line, brother, he will take you in. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get on your knees and right in that home. Then you'll be singing this whole time song. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get on your knees and right in that room. Then you'll be singing this old time song. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. All right. To me, Satan, I have right in that wrong. Got a one way ticket and I'm going home. I've got no worries as I sing the song. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get on your knees and right in that home. Then you be singing this old time song. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get on your knees and right in that phone. Then you'll be singing this old time song. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much. That's our gospel song this morning. One entitled, Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. We'll be over yonder after a while if you like our old time music that, uh, 
We've been kind for 53 years. Uh, the 15th of next month will make me and my brother here 53 years in bluegrass music. 53 years. And I was really proud that we was inducted into the Bill Monroe Bluegrass Hall of Fame two years ago in Bean Blossom, Indiana. We went into the Hall of Fame, Bill Monroe Bluegrass Hall of Fame. And uh, in 93, I was real proud of the Smithsonian Magazine. I made the front cover of the Smithsonian Magazine out of Washington, D.C. And there's been a lot of good things that's happened just in the last few years. When we started out, as I told the folks last night, I remember a show that me and Ray worked back with the Lonesome Pine Fiddlers in uh, 1953, we played a show one night. We made 75 cents a piece. It came a snow, it came a snow 18 inches deep while we was on the stage. When we come out, a snowbird couldn't land it in a helicopter. We were there, boy, I tell you what. But uh, anyway, we've stuck with it. We've seen the good times and we've seen the bad times. But you know what, it's been worth it. People like y'all here today, it's worth every dime. Without y'all, we wouldn't be nothing. I appreciate it. Next weekend, we'll be in uh, Branson, Missouri, working out in Branson, Missouri next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We was in Dollywood this past year, and we've just had a wonderful time, had a great year. Next year is looking real good. I want to do a number of Sherry Berry and, uh, and uh, Clarence, and one of the greatest little fiddlers that ever worked with the Goins Brothers, Hunter Burry. He took his first job with me and my brother and all the boys here when he was 16 years old, Hunter Burry. Working with Rhonda Benson, another great lady now. He is one of the top, one of the best. I call him Little Tag Martin. He, he, he reminds me of Benny Martin. I tell you folks, if you don't like his fiddle playing, you just don't like fiddle playing. He's one of the greatest. All right, here's an old time number on the guitar, John McNeely, my old senior citizen bus driver, one called Under the Double Eagle. <laughs>
Pretty fun. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you very much. All right. Honor the double eagles. Folks, I'm going to slow the show down a little bit right now. I'm going to do something that I hope that will really mean a lot to you because it's about our great United States of America. I recorded a, a recitation back in Tom T. Hall studio about a year ago. We got any veterans sitting in the crowd today? If you're a veteran, been in the service war, raise your hand if you're a veteran. Raise your hands. I have a lot of respect for you fellas. The fellas that go over and fight. And the women too. God bless you. I'm glad you brought that to my mind. Mel Tillis said, what is it, what is it? I know what it is it now. Anyway, I have a lot of respect for you go out and cross the line and fight for that old glory, red, white, and blue. The greatest nation in the world, the greatest nation in USA, United States of America. It does my heart good to see you folks with the shirts on out there, red, white, blue, and those stars. Them stars will always shine. We will never fall, folks. We will never fall. Today, this song goes out to the, all of our boys that's in Iraq and Iran today and girls fighting for our great United States of America. We're lucky people today. You see such a crowd today. Freedom can set you enjoy this beautiful weather, this beautiful fall festival. Go home tonight, get us something good to eat, watch TV, go to bed, come back out to you tomorrow and see all the great old time scenery that's been going on that my buddy, Mr. John Rice Irvin, put together many years ago. This is a cornerstone and the greatest place in the world for North Tennessee. My respects goes to John Rice Irvin for developing this place and has grown from a little wide spot in the road to a mansion, to a cornerstone. So this next number I'm gonna do, I have it on a new CD and on a new T-shirt. And uh, I hope when I finish this, that you will enjoy and appreciate it as much as I did and when I recorded and when I'm gonna do it today. It's about the terrible tragedy that happened back in 2001. The title, It All Adds Up To Be, number 11. The date of the attack was 2001, 9-11-2001, nine plus one plus one makes 11. September the 11th is 254 days of the year. After September the 11th, there are 111 days left to the end of the year. One, one, nine is the area code of Iraq and Iran. One plus one plus nine makes 11. Twin tires standing side by side looked like the number 11. The first plane that hit the first tower was flight number 11. The state of New York was 11th state admitted to our union. New York City, 11 letters. Afghanistan, 11 letters. The Pentagon, 11 letters. Air Force One, 11 letters. The Trade Center, 11 letters. World War III, 11 letters. George W. Bush, 11 letters. And God bless USA, 11 letters. God bless America.
was born in Kentucky, Jaybird, 40 years of life was born in Horn, oh, 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 Somewhere, boy. We're gonna make you do, we're gonna do one right now and we'll absolutely make the burn the soles off your shoes. You talking about throwing the cornmeal down on the wooden floor and moving all the furniture out of the room and dancing to hear that big Dahmer crow the next morning. This is the kind of music that I grow to with. Me and Ray, when we started, we walked four miles on a mountain dirt road. I had an old guitar stuck in a chop sack, a feed sack that you feed cows and horses in, and Ray had an old banjo. $27.50 banjo with a sheepskin coat wrapped around it. Had the old hide heads back then. We would go to this old time fiddler and he would learn us old tunes like this one fixed to play. And we broke the ice of many a night when the moon is shining and the dogs are howling, the wolves are howling, trying to get there and back. I tell you, we didn't have a car everywhere we went, we had to ride a horse or walk. But you know what? I'm not a bit ashamed how I came up. Came from a big family of nine boys and one girl was my. Our family, my daddy was a coal miner, worked till he killed himself. But thank God we're still living. When we was growing up, people told me and my brother that we'd never amount to nothing in the music business. Made fun of us because we had to wear patched overalls and go barefooted to sit down and warm where the cows laid to warm our feet from the frost. But that didn't work. That made me want to carry on. I was like Hank Snow. I said, boys, I'm going to move on. And I'm at one of the greatest, one of the biggest festivals today in North Tennessee, 53 years ago. Santa Goodness, get out of here, boy, and go. This is one of them. Brad, Wisconsin, two rivers. you take a break and let Mike do his little dance. Mike, you do your dance today. Hit a few licks, Mike. Hit a few licks there with your little dice. Six foot six, 38 limb, Mike Pagan.
Hey, hey, brother, go on.